Hey guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Josh and today we're doing a walk around video on this stunning 2016 Nissan Navara ST D23. Now being a black car, uh, you will notice a lot of scratches, but I can assure you, even though it is a black work vehicle, this car does present in incredible condition and it's something you need to see. Uh, starting off at the front, I will point out that it's got these very large headlights here with these beautiful DRLs that run through it just uh, to add to the elegance of the vehicle and give you a little bit more visibility, or give others a little more visibility, sorry. And the projector headlights just provide yourself the visibility at night. It does also have fog lights fitted to this model, so it um, helps you see in foggy conditions. Now, I will point out here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is a minor scratch on the bonnet. But guys, being a work vehicle and a 2016 model, it's not something inconsistent with the actual age of the vehicle. Uh, Looking at the front of this car, we've got this beautiful chrome surrounding for, um, for the black grille with the Nissan badge right in the middle there. The front of this car itself does present an incredible condition. Guys, we have a product available that's called Glass Coat and it will seal the car in the best possible condition we can. And being black and being a work vehicle, it's something you're going to want to ask us about. It is an additional cost, but we can discuss that with you when you come in to look at it. Now in this first alloy wheel here, excellent condition on the wheel itself and plenty of tread left in that all-terrain tire. So all-terrains will give you that extra grip when you are off-road. Now I've got these silver side mirrors here. That just help everyone around you or even at night. It helps be, uh, light reflect off it and helps people know where your car is. This side of the vehicle itself presents an incredible condition, guys. It is just a touch dirty, but I apologize for that. And as you can see, the car does present an incredible condition. We've got chrome door handles and side steps to help the shorter people get into the vehicle. Now moving along to the back, back wheel here as well. Um, I will point out that is not a scratch, that's a paint guard because that point does actually get scratched a lot so that just peels off if it gets too, uh, too scratched up. The back wheel as well, immaculate condition and plenty of tread left in that uh, all-terrain tire as well. Now we do have sports bars fitted to this model just to uh, give the tub a little bit more support. Now I'm going to open this up and I will show you this tub has actually been used without a tub liner unfortunately so it is a little bit scratched up but if you would like a tub liner please let us know and we can organize that at an extra cost to avoid the tub getting any more damage to it. Now something I love about the Navaris it has this little uh, overhang here if you're not sure what that is I'm about to show you. So when the tub's down like this everyone's main issue with the ute is how do I grab the um, tub easily and pull it up? That little overhang, you stick your hand under it, pull it straight up, as easy as that. Now there is a reverse cam and a tow pack fitted to this vehicle as well. Moving along to the, um, this side of the vehicle, I will point out the fuel filler cap is on this side, uh, being the safe side. And once again, guys, this, the wheels on this side usually get the most scratches, but that wheel is in immaculate condition and uh, good tread on that tire as well. Now this side of the vehicle as well, there are some minor scratches around the door handles, but as I said guys, nothing inconsistent with the age or the use of the vehicle. And being the wheel that is the most often scratched because it's the hardest for the driver to see when they're parking, uh, there's actually no scratches or marks that I feel like I need to point out and plenty of tread left in the tire as well. Now what we'll do is open up the uh, engine and open up the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Alright guys, here we are looking at Nissan's notorious four-cylinder 2.3 litre turbo diesel engine. Now this car is a six-speed manual which I will show you when we hop into the car. It's got an ANCAP safety rating of five stars with seven cabin airbags. Its power output is 140 kilowatts and Guys, if you know your Nissan Navaris, you know the tow capacity on this is three and a half tons, and that is due to its diesel engine, which outputs a torque rating of 450 newton meters. Now, it is an 80 liter diesel fuel tank and a fuel consumption of 6.5 liters per 100, which is incredible for a car this size. And depending on your driving style, if you've got a heavy foot or if you're towing something too heavy, if you've got a lot of weight in the car, this figure is probably not accurate, but uh, it is achievable in the right conditions, a fuel average distance of 1,231 kilometers. 
All right, guys, here we are inside this beautiful Nissan Navara. Starting off in the driver's side door here, we've got our power window controls and the front driver's side being automatic up and down. Then we've got our door locks and the window locks. So if your kids are being a bit annoying in the back seat and playing with the windows, you can actually lock it to stop them doing that. Then we've got our toggle for the power mirrors. And on the right hand side here, we've got our traction control setting, um, the button to open the fuel filler cap and a little thing that looks like a window switch, which just opens the back window there. Now, on the right hand side of the steering wheel, we have our headlight controls. They are automatic, so just leave it in auto and let the car do it itself. Then we've got a brightness control for the cluster. So if it's getting a bit uh, too bright and annoying at night, you can actually uh, change the brightness. Now the cluster itself is actually really beautiful in this vehicle. It's got a digital display in the middle of the speedometer and the rev taco, which you can control with the button here. And you can see different things like your fuel economy, your radio settings, or um, your car's tilt settings as well. Now on the right hand side, we've got our cruise control settings and the voice control and uh, phone settings. And on the left hand side, our audio uh, media settings. Now, moving on into the middle screen here, or moving up to the mirror, sorry. Um, I will point out that it is actually um, a self-dimming mirror, so if someone behind you's got their headlights on, it will actually uh, just dim itself. Then moving on into the bottom here, um, I will just show you, it's got a very nice uh, reverse camera, and you can actually see the rear bumper and the tow bar. So if you hit something behind you, you've got no excuse because you knew that was there and you saw it coming. Uh, so I don't want anyone calling me saying, Josh, I hit something behind me. Now, the center screen here, we've got AM, FM, radio, CD, uh, AUX, USB, and Bluetooth connectivity. So plenty of media options there for you as well. And our air conditioning settings with the hard buttons just below that. Now, moving down, we've got our rear diff lock. So if you need both your rear wheels to be uh, locked in together and turning at the same speed because you're off-road, you can actually lock that in and then we've got a four, uh, four wheel drive selector so when the car's in neutral you can actually select your four wheel drive mode. Then below that our USB and AUX and this beautifully leather wrapped um, shifter here. It is a six speed manual and guys even though it is a work vehicle the throws in this gearbox are incredibly comfortable and very easy to use. To put it in reverse just push it down and all the way to the um, right just like that. Then we've got two nicely sized cup holders here, a hard handbrake, and this nicely wrapped uh, center console here opens up to reveal some nice storage space with a 12 volt socket. Now it does have rear air cons and uh, rear cup holders as well, so your backseat passengers are going to be comfortable. Now while the camera pans around the inside of the vehicle, I'm just going to get out the service books and show you the uh, service history. Sorry guys, just struggling to open up the service book a little bit here. All right, so you can see this car's got pretty decent service history all the way up until 76,000 when we got it into our stock and did an intermediate service. What we're gonna do now is jump outside and wrap up the video. All right guys, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video on this once again stunning black Nissan Navara. Now, if you wanna hear more about the accessories I've mentioned, give us a call on 9907-0555. It does also qualify for a premium mechanical protection plan at an extra cost if that is something you wish to take up. Now what that is, is your next best thing to your new car warranty. It covers you for 181 items on, uh, for 5 years or 200,000 kilometers on the clock. And guys, being a work vehicle, you're going to want to be covered for all those things because it saves you money, it saves you time, it saves you effort. We like to save effort and hassle and money for you. So ask us about that plan, come check this car out for yourself, take it for a test drive. Um, and see for yourself just how incredible this vehicle is. Thank you. For, my name is Josh, and thank you for watching.